Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at getting started with Noob Commerce inside the Visual Studio 2022. We will look at how we can download or clone the source code from Git. So, before we get started, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get into it then. So Noob Commerce is an open source e-commerce platform based on Microsoft ASP.NET Core Framework, an MS SQL Server backend database. It provides a catalog frontend and an administration tool backend, allowing shopping carts creation. So enough of all the talking. So to get us started, we have to make, we have to go to the browser. So on Google, we can type in the no, the no commerce GitHub. Yeah, so this will actually, I mean, our first result, we can click on our first result, yeah? So from here, this, this is what is going to be opened, yeah? So we click on the code, yeah? So we can copy the, the link URI if we want to clone it. So this is how we do it. So on the Visual Studio, we click on the file and then clone the repository. So here, we can paste the, uh, the URI here. So as you can see, I've already got similar one in there. So you can just change the URI. So this is what you do. So what you do next is just click on the clone. So this will actually download the source code. But I've already downloaded the source code, so I don't need to clone it again. So I'm just going to um, close this bit here. So we go back to the the I um, in the browser. So on the code side here, yeah, we click on the download zip. Yeah, that's what I've actually done here. Yeah. So once the download is completed, so this is what I've got actually. So I've got it in the zip here. Yeah. So once you actually extract it, this is this is what you get. So here, once it, once it's extracted, you get this bit here. So we click on the source, and then we open the the no comment solution. So we double click this one here. So the, the, the setup installation of Visual Studio is not complete. Please run Visual Studio installer. So that's not a problem. So this is what we do. We're just going to, we're just going to open it from Visual Studio then. So here, we come inside a um, open, file open. So a project or solution. So I've got it in my download folder. So I'm just gonna come here. So as you can see here, I've got it here. So you can get it from the source. So this will actually open it, um, uh, a solution. So let's wait for the solution to be opened. So as you can see here on the solution explorer, it's got a, Solution open with a bunch of projects, yeah, about 27 projects, yeah. We're not going to look too much into the projects, but we're just going to look at how we can run it and do all the configuration setups, yeah. So on the presentation bit here, you got to right click it and make sure that you set you set the knob.web as the startup project by clicking this bit here. It's already done, so you can see the knob that web as a start project, yeah. So once that bit is sorted out, then we can we can click here or F5. So this will actually start building the project. So it might take a while, so I'm just going to wait while I'm just gonna pause the video while I wait then. So as you can see, yeah, uh, it takes it takes a bit longer for the first time to actually download all the necessary um, packages here yeah, from Git. So I'm still gonna pause it while the whole thing finishes, yeah? Yeah, so as you can see here, yeah, we've got this um, this notification or this dialog it says the project is configured to use SSL. To avoid SSL warning in the browser, you can choose to trust the self-signed certificate. So we're just gonna click on the yes, yeah? and accept the certificate. Okay. 
So I'm just still going to post the video while the whole thing loads, yeah. So now, <clears throat> as you can see, we've got the packages downloaded and it's now running. So we're still going to have to wait for a while for the whole thing to, to complete setting up, yeah. So I'm still going to pause the video. So now we have this running. So we do, we basically set up the administration bit here. So we're just going to leave the email as it is here. So admin at your store. Just going to put this in a small, small letter. So I'm just going to copy this bit. So you can do the same. So here, obviously, you can select a password. And uh, you can select your country. So I'm just going to select any country. Yeah, it's not really important. So let's look for you. So United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, or United States of America. Let's use US. So let's create a sample data as well. Yeah. So here. You can set up our server. We're going to set our, our server details. So. so the server name, mine will be a local host. Um, back to our SQL, let's press. And the database name is, I haven't created any database. so. I'm just going to use this. So we're going to use mine is an is an integrated Windows authentication. So we, I'm not going to enter several password and whatnot yet. So I'm just gonna set. I'm just gonna create this database right now. So I've, I've named it Nope Data. Yeah, I'm just gonna copy this here. We come back to the uh, Visual Studio and. Um, View uh, Server Explorer. So we're going to add a new, add a data connection. So Microsoft SQL Server. So here I'm just going to put my Uh, it's a local host. Backslash. SQL Express. Yeah, and we use the Windows Authentication. I'm just going to paste what I just copied here. So let's click OK. So the database is not created. So we will prompt it to create it. So now we click on the yes to create the database, yeah. So as you can see here now, it's got the database created. So we come back to the running. So now we click on the install. So this will actually install. This will actually complete all the installation. Yes, yeah, so I'm I'm gonna pause the video while the installation completes. So as you can see here now, we've got a retainer of uh, the execution timed out. Yes. Yeah, so if you actually followed, uh, if you followed the the steps, then you you wouldn't get this error. So if we look at it here, we come back to the Visual Studio. As you can see. We come inside the database. As you can see, we've got all the tables created, yeah? So it, everything is just pretty much done. So I'm just going to leave it here. So I might create a follow-up video just to solve the other issues, yeah? So once again, yeah, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do because I've got lots of videos coming up. And I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.